everybody. We got two more pencil sharpeners to check out in this video. One, it says electric pencil sharpener JD3006.2 or dash two. And the other, it's in a white box and says that. Well, let's check them out. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, why don't we check out what's in this box here first, since it seems to be a mystery. But it says that it is an electric pencil sharpener with auto stop feature. Uh, what is that? Urban, durable, and portable pencil sharpener for 8mm diameter pencils for school, classroom, What's the difference between school? Oh, school classroom, home study, office use. Okay. Made in China. Just check it out. See what it's all about. Oh, look at that. It's a little one. Yeah. Okay. It says Ring Sun on it. So it's another Ring Sun sharpener. And it comes with instructions in Chinese, I'm going to guess. Oh, good. There's some English right there. Pull out the shavings, general instructions. All right, good. So you have instructions in English and then in Chinese. And it says it takes two AA batteries. Or you can use the power supply it's USB powered as well okay so I'm going to give it a battery test and then a USB test and we will see how these little puppies work out how's that sound great fantastic all right okay it's a nice looking sharpener. Here's where you're going to plug in for your USB. We'll do that in a moment. Pencil goes in here, of course. Here's where the batteries go. Underneath here, I'll leave this open for now because I'm going to put batteries in there. And you just pull that out to dump out the shavings. And there's your single blade sharpener. Looks like a standard sharpener, much like one of these, except instead of you turning the pencil, it turns the sharpener around the pencil. So a clever idea. Okay, but we'll see how well it does here in a moment. And hopefully it doesn't get bogged down by the battery not having enough juice as that last video unfortunately had that problem. So, let me go ahead and get those uh, batteries and we'll go right into sharpening pencils. Okay, I got two verified good batteries right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. Shows you how to put them in, real simple. No big deal. All right, put the cover back on. Easy enough. And we're going to put it through the tough casemate test again. Hopefully I have a pencil here I haven't sharpened already in that last video. There we go. Here's an unsharpened pencil. Let's give this ring sun baby a shot, huh? Wow, that's quiet. Oh, that did quick work. Okay. 
there you go does a really good job it's a, just a regular size point it's not a long point sharpener but that's pretty good not too shabby at all now this is a long point which is what I I used my hand sharpener here this coom that's how I'm gonna call that thing okay so you can see the difference between a long point and a standard point but that did a good job and that was nice and quiet I like that nice and quiet so the battery holds up really good as far as sharpening it did not feel like it was uh, being bogged down now I'm going to take this out so that it does not have anything to do with the USB and then I'm going to sharpen again so let me just put that away and now we're going to plug in the USB and you can use a standard USB power supply uh, connector thing so you can plug it into your wall which is what I'm going to do so I'm going to go get one right now one of these I think I got this from Apple I'm not sure but anyway I'm gonna use that so I could plug it into the wall I don't want to plug it into my computer I don't want to put a drain on that power supply just in case so let's see how it works with this method but it doesn't come with that adapter now you gotta have that yourself it just gives you the cable here with the USB and we're going to grab another unsharpened pencil all right there we go well, let's see how it, it does the trick with uh, standard power it's even faster okay does quick work look at that okay the sharpener doesn't mess around it gets straight to sharpening not too shabby all right we'll take that off I want my power supply back so there you go there's your portable ring sun electric pencil sharpener it sharpens fast makes a nice standard point as you can see right there that's pretty good it works of course faster when plugged into the wall but it works decent enough with two AA batteries so that you can just take this with you to school classroom office whatever and not need to have to power, uh, plug it into anything so I like it it's a nice sharpener it's definitely a keeper okay that brings us now to the next sharpener and it doesn't seem to have much of a name either just electric pencil sharpener JD3006-2 hmm. okay well let's find out what it looks like inside oh look they even supply the batteries how nice And on the very bottom of the box, there's a sheet of paper that tells you that you are to plug this puppy in. Nope. You are to put batteries in this thing. Well, that's a nice looking sharpener. Oh, look. 
you can put big pencils, 9 to 12, or smaller pencils, 68 millimeter. Cool. I'm going to put some batteries in here in a second. And it uses that same technology as that other pencil sharpener, where it rotates a regular handheld pencil sharpener blade. It just makes it electrical where it turns it for you. Let's just see how this thing works out. Oh, look inside. And you have, looks like uh, spare blades. You got some spare blades, which is nice. And you have a Phillips screwdriver, so you can go in here and take this apart and get at those blades. So it's really nice that they include all this stuff. Let's see how this thing works. Alright, we put that puppy in there, that puppy in there. Alright. Okay. Awesome. Let me get a fat pencil and uh, that way you can do both. Seems I don't have fat pencils available with the exception of a 9XXB and a charcoal pencil. But the problem with charcoal pencils and sharpeners is that sharpeners tend to break the tip of charcoal because charcoal is just way too soft. But hey, we'll give it a shot. Who knows, it might just shock us. And I got the 9XXB. I know it's already sharpened and I hate to break the tip on this, but it's all for you guys. Um, but this one here is carbon and graphite, so it's going to be harder than the charcoal, but it's not going to be as hard as regular pencils. So uh, in both these cases, it may we may end up uh, not being able to test the, the big side here. We'll, we'll find out, but it may surprise us. If it does a good job on these, oh, and it's definitely a keeper. So let's start with the easy one first. Here's an unsharpened pencil. Let's see if those batteries don't bog down on us and it can sharpen this puppy really quick. Wow, that was quick. Did you hear that? Wow. Wow, that's not bogging down at all. That's beauty. It has an auto stop, or not an auto stop, but but it just doesn't keep sharpening when it's done. It, it'll keep turning, but it won't eat your pencil up. So when it's done, it's done. And it, look at the look at that look at that point. Okay, it's a great standard standard length tip. That's a good job. Boy, I like that. Very impressive so far. I'm very happy with these sharpeners, both of them. This one here was really good. And now this one here is proving to be good too. So that's probably not a bad idea to use that kind of technology. I mean, just keep turning these little puppies. Now, how's it going to handle? If it can't handle the charcoal pencil, that's not a negative. I want to let you guys know that right off the bat. These are These pencil sharpeners and charcoal pencils never get along. So if it can handle this, I am going to be very pleased. And I'm not going to push hard too, just, just give it a, a chance to sharpen this. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Let's see. Is it too big? Hmm. For some reason, let me put a regular pencil in here and see what happens. Nothing's happening. Oh! <laughs> Probably helps to read instructions. If you're going to use the fat side, you've got to hold that button down. Otherwise, this mechanism in here that triggers that motor won't work. It'll only work on this side. So if you press this down, now this should work. 
see if Rix can do it. Well, it sharpens charcoal. So I know it's going to sharpen this puppy. Gosh, I hate breaking that. There you go. Look at that. These are very soft tips. This thing handle it like a champ. I'm going to empty this out. Okay, empties out really quick. Well, I don't know what to say other than it doesn't come with a power supply, but hey, this is a really nice sharpener. It has no model number on, I mean name on here, manufacturer's name. However, where you can get this sharpener, the link will be below. The people who sent it to me uh, is called Bingo Incorporated. Bingo. So, Bingo offers you this Ring Sun portable sharpener, and they offer you this heavier duty pencil sharpener. Both take batteries and both can take power, although this one here did not come with the power supply so that's probably something you'd have to get on the side I'm pretty sure I have one here somewhere that will work on this but uh, I would just contact the company and ask them what power supply you would need if you want to power it in the wall otherwise you would use the batteries and they supply the battery which is kinda cool oh and you, don't forget your free blades replacement blades and your little screwdriver there and this one here operates on two batteries, double A's, as well as comes with the USB uh, adapter cable. And you do need to have your own USB plug-in, which is really easy to get. I've, I have two or three of them hanging around the house here. So that's easy enough. But anyway, so I have to say that uh, I give these products a thumbs up. I like them. They do a good job. They do great job on these big pencils and I don't have very many sharpeners and especially electric sharpeners that can sharpen these big pencils without chewing up the tips and it does a really good job with standard size length sharpened tips there you go okay well if you found this video to be somewhat entertaining educational or whatever please give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't done so already and as usual, I will see you in the next video. Bye.